Scotts and Frapston have just completed the Sapphire Jubilee Community Centre in Havering, which is in Romford. This is an urban area in a built-up environment with residential tower blocks surrounding the building. From the outset, because we knew that the site was tight and also we had to get within the M25, we had to be sure that there was limited transport movements and also that we could get the building to site quickly. Many of the items within the building were prefabricated and manufactured off-site by Scotts. These included the glue lamp portal frame and metalwork, the timber frame itself, internal door sets which are fully assembled, the louver panels and the external canopy kits. The whole building was modelled in Autodesk Revit prior to construction, allowing for elements to be manufactured off-site. All of the items were delivered to site from Scotts and Frapsom's HQ. We use off-site technologies to ensure that on-site terms are kept to a minimum. Scott's worked in partnerships with other off-site suppliers, for example the precast concrete foundations. 21 precast concrete piles were driven into the ground up to 7 metres deep in, in some places. This put us in good stead to finish the programme on time. Once the pile foundations were complete, the timber frame kit was delivered to site. This included the traditional timber frame panels and glue lamp canopies and glue lamp sway frame. In order to meet the client's requirements, we used a hybrid timber frame system of glue lamp and traditional timber frame. These were all bolted together on site. This took a total time of two days. Once the superstructure was up, the prefabricated roofing panels were delivered to site. These were craned up and then fixed in place. This allowed us to achieve the high bolted ceilings within the main play space. All the walls, floor and roof are super insulated. The U values we achieved are above and beyond the recommended by building control. The foundations were completed in 10 days and the superstructure was up and watertight within 5 days. This allowed the total build time at Havering to be approximately 5 months.